say there is a strong conspiracy to send me out of this palace. I say there is a very strong conspiracy to make sure I leave this palace. But I will not let them win. They will not win. They won't. Yes? Presence, my prince. Who are you? The Queen Mother said. I should present myself to you. Melissa, yes, come. Sit with me. I want to have a word with you. I am sorry, Queen Mother. I would like to freshen up first before we can have that discussion. There's something I really want to understand. Am I little or tiny that you will pass me on notice? I don't understand what you're talking about. When you were taking your girls off to school, I was seated here. You passed without greeting me. I am sorry, Queen Mother. Pardon my manners. My husband's strange behavior lately is beginning to affect me. I am not in the right frame of mind. Is it that you are outrightly wicked or selfish? I am sorry, Queen Mother. I don't know where you're coming with that. Really? Can you stand by my husband's grave to say that you don't know what I mean? Honestly, Queen Mother, like I said, I am not in the right frame of mind right now. And as of this moment, I need to be in my room. So if you will excuse me. Foolish girl. I pray my son is done with a virgin girl. I'm actually surprised this is your first time. Don't worry, you'll be fine. What is going on here? Obazi, I am talking and you're dressing up. What did you just do? You slept with her on our matrimonial bed. How dare you! Listen. Listen good. 
I want you to pack your things here and go stay with the kids. If I go to work and come back to find your things here, I swear by the gods, you regret the day you became my wife. And Mdidi, how is she faring? She has fallen asleep, Your Majesty. She's okay. Oh. All right. Let me know as soon as she wakes up. Yes, Your Majesty. You may leave. Thank you. David! Come! Majesty. What are you doing here? Melissa called me. She says she wants to see me. You're here to see Melissa. Is my son aware you're here? My queen, why are you asking me that? Do you see your life? You came to see your friend's wife in his absence. My queen, let it not be that you are reading meaning into my visit here simply because you know me. Who knows you? Who? I want to know. Who knows you? The last time you were here, I thought I told you never to return. So what are you doing? Well, I came this time because Melissa gave me a distress call. A distress call. You know, a first man who receives distress calls from people. Now well, listen, David. I don't want to be rude. I want you out of this palace before I lose it. And if you don't, you'll be responsible for whatever happens to you. Now get out. Out! Hello, David. Are you here? What? Uh, it's, it's okay. Where are you now? Okay, fine. Wait out, outside the gate for me. I'm coming now, okay? Yes. No, I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm coming right now. Yes, just out, outside the gate. Thank you. I told you I am losing it. That I needed to talk to someone. So Queen Mother, why did you have to send him away? 
Does it mean you don't have shame? If you must cheat on your husband, must it be in this palace under our noses? Huh? I am not what you think of me. And you know it. Listen, I don't like people daring me. So don't push me. If you step on edge, make sure you don't return to the scum under me. This frustration is planned. I am not going to play into fair hands. I am not. said she was coming. I mean, why is she not here? As a friend, I would advise you to leave now because I understand what is going on. Unless you want to see yourself in jail. And where is that coming from? If I were you, I wouldn't be asking that. Leave. Now. I'm sure that you don't need a soothsayer to assist you in analyzing what is happening. We're no longer relying on fate. We've taken the bull by the horn to solve the problem at hand. And on this note, I want you to vacate your husband's room. What? You heard me. Your staying there is not letting him concentrate on the lady that would take him and bear me the grandson that I need. Queen Mother, how would you feel if someone does this to you? I'm a practical woman and I face issues head on. I've played this sentiment game with you for so long and I am losing months. Months from the one year that I was given and nothing has happened. Everywhere is still flat. My husband loves me and he does not want to take a second wife. He said taking a second wife will shorten his lifespan. So I don't understand why you cannot respect your son's wish as his mother. Melissa, if you fail to vacate the room, I'll be forced to throw you out. And when I do that, it has to be out of this palace. Don't tell me. I have come a long way in this marriage to give up. I will never allow them to succeed. Never. I don't even know where to go. I go come out I don't even know where to go. I go come out I don't even know where to go.
I summoned all of you because I want everyone to be involved. I'm giving you free hand to seduce my son. Rip him if you can. Get pregnant. Once you're pregnant for my son, I'll make sure he marries you. I know you'll be wondering how to achieve this. Well, Melissa has been ordered to vacate his room. So henceforth, he will be sleeping alone, making him vulnerable. I want all of you to prove to me that I am not spending my resources for nothing. I want to be sure that I'm spending my resources for making you beautiful. Don't let it be in vain. Am I understood? Yes, yes. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but may the gods forbid what I just said. Me, who changed no career caro, to rape a married man. I can't even rape a man not to talk of a married man. I am very sure the queen was not referring to me. The people she was referring to know themselves, and who are the people? I just said the people she was referring to know themselves. Or are you by any means confirming to me that you're one of them? <laughs> Listen to me. If you're not careful in this palace, one of these days I will slap the demon off you. You are just blabbing. You cannot do anything to me. Why did you pack your things out of this room? Why will you even contemplate that? There is a strong conspiracy against me. And your mother and sister are sitting at the head of this conspiracy. Honey, I do not have what it takes to challenge them. You're not making any sense. What are you talking about? Your mother thinks I'm the reason you have bluntly refused to take another wife. Darling, I need you to bring your things back to this room. Alright? This is where you belong. Please. Darling. Yeah. As things are now, I think you should marry the girl you took her virginity earlier today. You don't say that. No matter what happened, you're still my wife. But they are the ones responsible for what happened today. I'm not accountable for that. Okay? I settled for her. Because I believe she's still innocent at heart. Don't worry, honey. She's good for you. She may be innocent in her soul. But I'm never going to take another wife. I will not do that.
the man standing before me is not the man I married. But nevertheless, baby, I'll be here. I will be waiting when he returns back to me. What do you mean by that? I'm still the man. Where do I find you when I need you? Do you know where to find me, honey? Melissa, my love. You're just an angel. A man born into royalty, a man destined to the king, should understand the importance of having an heir. My prince, I am ready and I know we can start now. My prince. <laughs> I know you resisted me before. But please, my prince, do not do it again. My prince. My prince. My prince. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, my prince. Oh, my face. Oh, my face. Which is my face? And what do you want there? Oh, my face. I came to pick your clothes for laundry. I'll bring them out tomorrow morning. Come back in the morning, okay? Oh, my prince. I see and understand all that has been going on in the palace. I am so sorry. I pray you come out strong. But my prince... The last time I checked, you're still a maid in this palace. And to the best of my knowledge, you have specific duties assigned to you in this palace. So I advise you to stick to them. Do not deviate. Okay, my prince. My prince. How many times do we have to do this in just one day? And how many times do we eat in a day, my prince? Well, I have come to serve you dinner. Yes. <laughs> I have had enough for today. All right? I'd like to be left alone. My prince, do not dismiss this. We never can tell when the seed will enter. <laughs> Leave. Now. 
I said leave. Hey, hey. I'm very happy. Everest said he took power yesterday. So all I'm praying is that something happens before her next second. You're sounding as if Eberi is the one you prefer. Why did you say that? Eberi is not the only one he took yesterday. Yesterday, he took my girlfriend. I also gathered he took the young Indidi. Any of them could miss the circle, so why are you Amari or just Eberi? You can't say you don't know why. That's a simple word. Desperate. I am desperate, does it? Mother, desperation will lead us nowhere. I'm beginning to feel we have gone too far. I'm not stopping until the result is achieved. You know me. You know, I'm so surprised that you allow my mother, the same woman who never wanted you to be here in the first place, bend you into using emotional blackmail to break your own husband. The more he talks, the more I have a feeling that he is being manipulated. You're not saying anything. You finally allowed my mother to make you hate me. What? Hate you? Is that how you see this? You see, I knew you were going to say that. You're doing all of this because you want us to reproduce in air. And that exactly is the truth. This issue of trying to reproduce in air is destroying the basic foundation of this family. So I have decided to let them have their way. My love. Please. Come back to my room. That is where you belong and not the other room. I'm going crazy. I need my wife by my side. Please. I know exactly what has been going on there. Enjoy the freedom I have given you. Please. I want to save my head. Why are you technically asking me to take a second wife? Remember part of my project was on the psychological impact of polygamy. I researched that topic and I found out polygamy brings about discriminating behavior that results to unequal treatment of wives and sometimes mental issues. Do you know exactly what the problem is, honey? If you tell yourself the truth, do you know polygamy is not the problem here? Sweetheart, you need to get another wife. You need to marry another, one who can give you the son I cannot give you. Your sister and mother, they have a point. And I have come to accept it. And I also want you to accept it. Please. I don't even know where to go. Look for him, know the exact place where he is to avoid carrying his food up and down. Oh, what do you think? Okay, nice idea. I think I should just drop it and go and check and come back. Okay.
Greetings, my boss. Seeing girl in this palace. Oh no, I know you may be feeling that we're not doing enough. Trust me, we are doing more than enough. Pretty soon. Your Mochilobi will be here with us. I was actually talking with Yez Alusi of Umwez when he told me. He confirmed to me that Prince Obaze has an heir. I am waiting to see that manifest. Do not let that scheme deceive you. I know his plans to make us relax and the throne will slip off our hands. I am sorry, but with all due respect, it is wrong to hold that impression about the exalency of this kingdom. We are talking about a man of the gods and... Oh, I... no. I don't feel we should play that man of the gods card. We are dealing with an empirical matter. And I am following it the way it should be followed. Really? Yes. So all these myths you are throwing at the prince, believing that one of them is going to become pregnant. What if at the end none of them becomes pregnant? Is that your wish for my family? It is not my wish, but like you said, it is an empirical thing and you are filled with it empirical. If an authority as elevated as Yezalose of Umwez has issued a statement on any subject. That statement should be respected by all. How are you? 
Ah, your maid is fine. She just fainted um, out of shock. But trust me, she'll be fine. And my son? Yes, um, as for your son, he shows um, signs of um, temporal paralysis. Paralysis? Why would my son have paralysis? Going by experience, I think it's something that he ate caused it. Something he ate? Yeah, yeah. How could that be? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but um, we'll, we'll conduct more tests on him tomorrow to know the exact cause of the paralysis. Um, doctor, please. Is my husband going to be okay? Ah, sure, trust me, he'll be fine. He'll be fine, man. He'll be fine. Hey. Just, just need to go over and rest at No, 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 and I am the queen mother, so she's going. What did you give my son to eat? I'm asking you! What did you Take her on! Your Majesty, you sent for me. Doctor said, my son, it's something that paralyzed him. And I heard he gave a standing order that only you, but you, will make his meal and serve him. Tell me, why did you poison my son? Your Majesty, I did not poison his food. I can swear on anything. His problem cannot be from what he ate, because I cooked and served him myself. And you think I can believe in this nonsense you are blabbing? I only say, go down. I said, go down with him. Not to poison him. I did not poison him. I can never do such a thing. The medical report will be out soon. <laughs> If I found out that you poisoned my son, you will not be spared. You will face the full wrath of the law. Get out. Thank you, my queen. Yeah, um, your husband results reveals that um, he eats Duncan plants. And these plants are used for ornaments. How, how did the ornamental plant get into his food then? Um, well, I guess maybe it's a mistake or something. Yeah. And, and as for the maid that was unconscious, she can be discharged now. She's fine. Okay. Um, how about my husband? Can he be discharged too? Sure, sure, sure. He will be discharged as well. But uh, you know, you need to bring him to the hospital for regular checkups. You know, you need to monitor him for let's say like um, three days. This is fine. You know, we need to monitor him closely to make sure that his system is normalized. Okay. So the plants is totally erased from his body system. Okay. Okay. So Thank you, you don't have anything to worry about. Okay. Let me just prepare the document so he can be discharged, alright? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
State your request. Omo if you would not be. There is no other way to explain this. My son has been bewitched by the enemies of his father. Those who want to take the crown away from us. And that explains why the throne is slipping away from his hands and he's not bothered about it. You are a seer I can trust. Tell me, who are these people manipulating my son? I want to know them. I want to know them so that I can deal with them my own way. Your pal. Nobody can bewitch the custodian of the four of Umwezi kingdom. What if you go, Dinobi? I am talking about my son, not my late husband. Your son is the king of Umwezi, the custodian of the four of Umwezi kingdom. Nobody can bewitch your son. Ugo Dinobi, listen. I'm not supposed to explain this to you because you're supposed to be saying it. But I will explain. My son is the heir apparent to the throne of Umwezu kingdom. He's not yet the king. In our tradition, he has to have an onochirobi before he can be crowned king. And now he has no heir to the throne. And he's not making effort to have one. All the efforts we are making as family is being frustrated by him. Even the ladies we littered for him to have something so that he can produce an onochirobi. He's attacking them. He will act well by sleeping with them this moment. The next minute, he's attacking them violently. So I want to know who has bewitched my son. You are seeing your son as the prince, and I am seeing him as a king. No one can bewitch or baze, for the no evil hand can touch the king. But if you go to why is it that you are not getting me at all? My son is not yet the king. He has not been crowned. He is not a king to you because you are a woman. And the ways of the masquerades are the only things the ancestors hid away from their women. Go home and prepare for the coronation. I can see that your spiritual lenses are weak. They need to be cleansed. Those who are initiated in the masquerade should speak like masquerades. Even if you have no respect for my administration, you should have respect for my title. Oh, please. You've not killed cows, mother me. So don't give me that nonsense of worthy reason for me to be swallowing in outright baloney. I'm already on my way. How did an ornamental plant get into my husband's food? My princess, I swear, I know nothing. I don't know. You have to be very careful when next you're preparing his meal. 
Yes, my princess. I already made myself that promise. From now on going forward, I will not repeat such next time. You can go. Thank you, my princess. Ibrahim. Yes, my princess. What happened that night? My princess, I can't remember what happened. Well, you have to try and remember something, Ibero. Um, uh, okay, I, I, I remember now. I tried to... I saw the prince crawling on the floor and I tried to help him, but he pushed me away. You saw him crawling on the floor, where? In his room, my princess. And what were you doing in the prince's room? My princess, I am sure you know the reason I went in there. The queen gave us approval to go in there and do it with him. And to be truthful, we have been succeeding. Succeeding at what? What exactly are you talking about, Ibiru? He has been doing it with me. But that night, when I went in there, he wasn't ready for me. So you have been sleeping with my husband? How many times have you gone down with him, Ibiru? Is it that this man is really powerful? How is he able to see what I did to my son to enable him go down with the ladies? 
And why are all the spiritual authorities in this kingdom talking like people who have been bought? It is possible they came up with this strategy so that I will relax. And then before one understands what is going on, they will say the time has elapsed and that they will crown another person king. Hmm. Now I know. Now I know. Your Majesty, where are we going next? Take me back to Noah's house. The fire was too much that it almost blinded my eye. We cried and we prayed to the gods to come and wipe our tears or the come on and run. What is your problem? Hmm? You nearly gave me a heart attack. I need you to explain to me what happened on that day. What happened where? Huh? What happened where? You took me out and tampered with the food I served. Will you swear on the king's grave? Can you deny it? Mama, you are sick. You are sick in the head to so think so low of me. Do I actually look like someone that can poison another? I have not accused you yet. Oh. I am only running permutation of what likely happened. I do not know what you are saying. And let us be the first and last time you will ever say this to me. I am sorry. But can you explain how you found yourself in the prince bedroom? Oh. That. I acted on the express order of the Queen. I thought you said you are not interested in it. So allow those of us who are interested to try our luck. Queen is not your business. Excuse me. She has a hand in this. She cannot escape my suspicion. Woman, you may elect to forget all things, but don't ever forget that I remember you know who, or know where we be of whom was. Why will you find yourself every time I leave your room to speak to me with so much disrespect? And why should I speak with you with respect when you could descend so low to bribing all the spiritual authorities in Umwez just to lie to me, lie to my face to make me relax and watch another ascend the throne? Woman, I don't know where this is coming from. Who told you I I bribed anybody? You will not know no way, but I know your plan. What? And it has failed. I will go out of my way. I will go to the top mountains of riches to crush you and your evil ways. I will do it. So you're not even hiding it. Now you have the audacity to, to, to come before the you know who. Making reference to mountain of wishes? Are you okay? Listen, it has been communicated that you used charms to manipulate the prince into doing something that he does not even understand. We, the men in council, decided to allow the gods handle things on their own. You have to define your boundary and restrict yourself to it before we remind you rudely that you are a woman. And because I am a woman, you and your so-called men in authority are harboring evil against me and my household? Nobody is harboring any evil against you or against your household. In fact, we don't harbor evil against any member of this kingdom. 
We are just men who are committed to justice in the land. How else will I explain this before you understand it? I don't understand and I don't want to understand it the way you are saying it because I'm not convinced. I know that you men are busy day and night working against me. You want to bring me down. Listen, no one. No one can bring me down. If there's anyone or some people that are to be brought down, it should be you and all that are conspiring against me and my household. Nonsense. Yeah. The more she talks, the more I see the reason our ancestors ruled that a woman king must not emerge anywhere in Igbo land. They judge things with impulse and they end up making a whole lot of mistakes. I mean, what is this now? Oh, Nina. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting all day. It's okay. I told myself that I'm not going to leave this palace. I can understand what you are going through. So I'll wait for you until you can't. How come you're not eating anything? No. Let I've... me show them to open. No, no, no. I'll put them ready. Very well. Um, what do you want us to discuss? I remembered you once mentioned the decisive nature of your brother, Irudike. How come you've not gone for his intervention on this matter? I had problems with him in the past and it has not been resolved. Well, I feel this is the right time to resolve it. Because your brother was there when Obasa was growing up. And I think this is the right time for him to intervene on this matter. Yes, all you need to do is to approach him and um, ask him for forgiveness where necessary. I think he will do something. Yes. I don't think we need to educate my brother on this because my son is already doing well with the girls. What do you mean that your son is already doing well with the girls? For the best of my knowledge, he has not said anything tangible to my daughter. Nena, you're sounding as if he didn't tell you anything. Nina. Well, her virginity is long gone. My son took it already. All we're praying is for something to happen. Maybe let her miss her cycle. Then we'll celebrate. You mean your son took my daughter's virginity just like that without anything tangible? Is that what you're saying? Please don't be like this. I thought we were in this together. You know I've gone through a lot. I've gone through a lot. Please, let's just pray that Didi will take him. I assure you, once that happens, she'll be the one my son will marry. Are you sure? Haven't you heard of uh, First Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Mm -hmm. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't talk that. Honey, you and I know there is no problem here. You know this. You are just being stubborn. And this is beginning to affect everything. Why are you sounding like you do not live in this time and age? Sexual immorality is no longer considered a sin. As girls in high schools are now sexually active. As a matter of fact, it has become a Herculean task to find a decent girl. The truth is, I don't understand what this long sermon is all about. What is this all about? All I am trying to say is that I do not trust any woman out there, even for the slightest kiss. 
The only woman I trust in this life is you. That is why I didn't listen to my mother. And I went ahead and married you. Please, stop trying to ask me to bring in another woman. I will never do that. Not in this life. What I have just confirmed right now is that truly, truly you were under his spell. What do you mean, I have been under his spell? What spell are you talking about? Honey, you just said you don't trust any other woman. Of course. Except me. And that you would never kiss any other woman except me. Yes. Well, darling, you have been, for the past one month, kissing, floriking, fondling, sleeping with everything on that is kept in and outside these parts. What? As a matter of fact, you went as far as hitting me. Sweetheart, you raised your hands on me. No, no, no. No. You can't be serious about that. How? Why? When? Why didn't you call the cops to get me arrested? <sighs> Honey, that wasn't necessary. Because I suspected you were under a spell. Mm. I knew you were not in your right senses. So I had to forgive and ignore all your essences. <sighs> it's okay. Now who, who do you think was manipulating me then? Like I said, baby, it's not necessary. It's all in the past. I think right now we should be focused more on how to provide a solution to our problem because we have a problem at hand. And we need to put an end to this chaos. All right. How do we, how do we solve all of this? I, I have a solution. I need your semen. Excuse me. What in the name of the gods do you need my semen for? Calm down, baby. There is no cause for alarm. I will be the one taking the semen myself. And then I would use it to fertilize her egg. Or maybe eggs. We might be needing more than one egg. And so we can give you a son to end all this trauma. I'm not getting all of this you're trying to say. You want to use my semen to fertilize whose eggs? The girl you took her virginity. What? I took whose virginity? Didi. And you did it right on our matrimonial bed. This bed. But like I said, baby, that is not the problem at hand. We have to do this. I have already had a discussion with her and she's in line with it. She has agreed to do this for us. So all we need to do is get your semen, get her eggs, and then make it work. That way we will make your mother happy. You know what? 
to solve this issue once and for all. Good. I like that. I'm not going to give you my semen for anything. God has blessed us with two beautiful daughters and we should be grateful for that. There are families that have no kid at all. Honey, what you have failed to understand is that we are not just any family. We are royalties. And without you producing an honor to be, you cannot be crowned the king of this kingdom. And as a matter of fact, I have lost count on how many times I have told you I'm no longer interested to be king. I love my family. You should stop collaborating with my mother to bend me. Because no one, not even you, can bend me. I am not going to bend. Any man who must emerge king in Umwezu must not be bent by other men. If it happens that other men succeeded in bending him, that act of him being bent by other men has permanently disqualified him from becoming king. It's obvious that you're still angry with me. No matter what happened, I am your sister, your blood. After listening to all that, all that has come to destroy me, you're supposed to show concern. I have heard all you said. What do you want me to do? How do you want me to show this concern? I want you to come and talk to Abaze. Make him take another wife that will bear him an honor Chirobi before it is too late. Do you know that I'm really surprised you came to my place? I'm more surprised at your request. Have you forgotten so soon? Uzamaka. Prince of Basel is a man. He knows what he wants. Just allow him to marry whoever he wants. Because he will be the one that will live with the woman, not you. Everybody who called you in the discussion. Who invited you? I only allowed you to be here because you are my brother. Don't abuse that privilege. Biko, don't. It is not a privilege. But a right given to me by our ancestors to protect my sister's children. You ridiculous. This is my family matter. Please stop. Let this be the last time you come to interfere. Biko, stop. Um, I invited him here, so tell him to mind his business. So just because you invited him here, he must do your bidding. Mom, Uncle is the only man for my Ifumi who still listens to you. The rest of them have abandoned you because they think you're impossible, yet you still shout at him like this. Will you shut your mouth? Just shut it. You know what? You are not invited in this discussion, so leave. Well, the last time I checked, I'm still in my father's compound. You cannot send me out from this place. All right? Besides, the topic in question is all about me. Obaze, uncle, is that right? You have a perfect understanding of who your mother truly is. But I will not sit here and be insulted. I'm so sorry about this. Nava. Talk to her over. Nava. Go.
what? But they just told me now that you embarrassed Melissa and sent out of this palace. Why? Because this is my house. And Obaze is my son. Is this what you have become? Is it reality that has not turned into a monster that you no longer have respect for a man? And who is the man? You? A man who doesn't mind his business? Does that make you a man? Wait a minute. Let me understand something. Are you saying that you do not consider me, Iche Irudike, a man? No, I don't. Listen, the same way I embarrass Melissa out of this palace is the same way I will throw you out of this palace if you don't learn how to respect yourself and stop interfering in my family business. Never. Don't. Do you remember that I am your brother and a family too? The last time I viewed, you are not a royal family member. And that's period. Uzamaka. Oh, please. Be gone. Uzamaka. The king said you walked out on him in front of the elders. Why would you do that? And how is that your business? Even if I slapped him in front of the elders, what is your business with that? What's your take? How many times do I tell you to stop coming here to interfere in my family's matter? Listen. Even if my son nor husband reports to you about me, Uzamaka, Uzamaka, you don't want to interfere. Stop coming. Please. What is your business? All the women, whoever insulted an injury, will always come back to beg. Okay. You will find out that Uzamaka will not beg you or anyone. I'm a woman on the move and no one can stop me. Not you, nor anyone can drag me down. If you are an unse, know it that Uzamaka is double unse. Uzamaka? That is my name. Uzo de Maganyanganabo. I told you that a day will come when the aura that accompanies you say, we humble you and you will come begging. But you said you are doubled in jail. Why are you here now? Brother, please. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. Please. I was misguided. Uzamaka, I refuse to take that. You warned me sternly that I should never interfere in your family's business. And I've kept to that. Sorry, I cannot help you because I don't want to interfere in your family's business. Sorry, I cannot help you. Because this is so painful. I'm losing everything and no one seems to care. It's so painful. Listen. When we are done, you may leave because I have to get ready for today's business. Brother Biko, sin. Brother Biko, no, no. Brother Biko, no, please. Hey. Hey. 
daddy, don't be sick. You know we are scared when you are sick. Mm. We are scared when you are sick. I'll be fine. Okay, daddy. Mm. And how is your daddy doing? Fine. That's good. It's time for daddy to take his medication. Babes? Daddy, help him up, okay? Baby, you know I know you too well. And I know you are stronger than you look. You're just doing this to make me weak. And seriously, baby, that is not funny. It's not fair. Hmm? I'm not as strong as you think, but I'm getting better. Okay. Thank you. I call this meeting to brief us of the decision we took in council. The next king of this kingdom will be pronounced. And then the next AK, after the next AK market day, that king will be crowned. So I came to ask you, Prince Obaze, do you have an honor be now? Oh no. I do not have a son. If I had one, I would have invited you all for a naming ceremony. I do not have an honor to be. As I see of whom is you. We'll be here the next day, Kemaket Day, to tell us who the next king of this kingdom is, so we can start preparing for the coronation. Everyone has anything to say? In the absence of anything, I will beg to take my leave because I believe the message has been passed credibly. Thank you. I guess you're happy now. Hmm? You want us to lose the throne. Now we have lost the throne. I don't know what your father and your ancestors did to you that you made kinship to leave their bloodline. I will never forgive you. Not in this life, or in the seven lives to come. You know I forgive you for manipulating me and using charms to make me do despicable things. Don't make me remember that. Because I swear by the gods I will do something I will regret all my life. As if I care. All I did, I did for you. So you don't have any right to hold it against me. You don't have any right. I did everything for you. Everything. What did I just hear? Mother, I am disappointed. Disappointed in, in you, of course. Oh, please. For getting champs involved in all of this. I thought we were working as a team to get an heir for this kingdom. You manipulated your son with charms? Really? Will you shut your mouth up? How dare you say that to my face? Look, Wagnanya. 
Abba say, please. I'm sorry. I'm not aware all this happened. I never knew she went this far. I'm really sorry. It's all right. I forgive you, sis. I understand what happened there. Darling, go and get packed up. Immediately after the pronouncement, we'll be leaving for America. Are you really going to abandon royalty? Like it never matters to you. You know, I've seen kings who are sad, all because they married the wrong women. I have the best wife that any man can pray for. I am not ready to treat her for anything. Um, girls? Yes, yes, mommy. I... I know I owe you to some explanations. Yes, mommy. Mm -hmm. But when we get to Atlanta, the United States of America, that's where we're going to now. Okay. I will explain everything to you. Okay, Okay? Yes, okay. So, you'll never be princesses forever. And who said that? I'm just asking. Come on, sweetheart. Yes, mommy. Hey, baby. Yes, mommy. You two are princesses. You are a princess. And you are a princess. Hmm? Yes. And no matter where you go to, no matter where, no matter when, you will always be a princess, okay? Yes, mommy. Do you mommy. understand? Yes. Mom. Mm -hmm. Why are you crying? Crying? I'm not crying. Stop crying. I love you. Greetings, Agnes. Greetings, Agnes. How are you? I'm here to tell you that all the luggage are loaded and everything is set. Okay. Thank you very much. Huh? But I doubt if you can leave your highness. Why? Why do you think I can't leave? The chief priest just gave instruction that no one should leave the palace. Yes, Alose. The one we are waiting for is here. You may now proceed. Greet all of you. The next king of Umwez, who should be the custodian of the affair of Umwez, is Prince Obaze. Go. Huh? Go, yes, That cannot. Uh, Prince Obaze has no honor, Chirubi. Mm hmm. And according to our tradition, he who has not reincarnated himself 
through his Onochirobi cannot be our king. Bam! Prince Obaze has an Onochirobi. Ezehalusi, you must be mistaken. I do not have a son. You can hear him. She was thrown out of this palace. And she was ordered to abort that pregnancy. Then the gods of Umwezu took over from there. For no matter how hard the mortals may try, the royal seed must never go missing in a foreign land. Ezehalusi, what are you talking about? I don't think you understand the implication of what you did. How can a lousy maid like you get pregnant for the kingdom waiting of Umis? Your Majesty, I, I, I did not just get pregnant for him. We are in a relationship. He loves me. I love him too. And he promised to marry me. Are you alright? Is my son aware of this pregnancy? I... I have not told him yet. That is your saving grace. Now listen, I will pay you two years salary in advance. You get out of this kingdom and get rid of this cursed pregnancy never to show your face in this kingdom again. If for any reason you establish contact with my son and tell him about this cursed pregnancy, I will kill you. Read my lips. I will kill you and nothing will happen. She ordered you to get rid of that pregnancy. What happened? As I'll see, I'm so confused here. What baby are you talking about? Pregnancy that you didn't even know of. When your mother chased her out of this palace. She left with your child, a royal seed, a son, the heir that I had always spoken about. Why didn't you mention this? She barred me from mentioning it to you. I left the palace. I left Umuizu. Then I relocated to Onicholon, where I gave birth to our child. I came back to Umuizu and you saw me and brought me back to the palace and insisted that you must marry me. Wait, are you saying you didn't abort the pregnancy? An evil woman who could order the termination of the royal seed should not speak here for the gods of Umuizu. Are against you. Mm. 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 Why? You knew the child was mine, and yet you asked her to terminate it. Why? Where's the child now? After I gave birth to the child. In on each other, no, no. A baby boy. I gave him to a, to a couple from Makodi who promised to take care of him as if he was he was dear's. Makodi? Hey. Where are we going to start? On the Chirobi now, Makodi. Makodi. I was the one the TV. Hey. Why in God's name is this happening to me? And how am I supposed to find this child? My child! Mother. So all this while you have been the problem, you are evil! Oh, you shut your mouth, what do you know? The moment you set your eyes on that innocent boy, is the day you will breed your last. You cannot stand Ibu Bonze. Your late husband already deposited in him. You have the option of leaving this palace, never to return. Or oh, see that boy and die. Where's Alice? Please. Can you just leave? Up where's Alice? Oh, Pico, can you leave there? I be at Alice or whatever you are called. Enough, fool. What is this? You cannot manipulate me into 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 leaving this palace. 
You come and employ me with all these your lies. I'm not going anywhere. I am still the queen of women's kingdom and I stay here. You will take me out of this kingdom. Queen, I'll come are you in any way implying that this boy will still be found? The gods of Umwezu would never have even allowed him to go missing. The couple that took him brought him back to Umwezu and he has been growing up in this kingdom waiting for a day such as this. God <laughs> I warned her before everyone. Mom! Mom! But she failed. Mom! Behold the air you see. Your own son delivered by your wife. Help. Mm -hmm. Oh, more help. No way, no help. Mm -hmm. Mother, don't do this. Please help me, please. I warned her before. Please. Please. Mom, she failed to do this. Mom, Mom, no. 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 no.